Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Milky Plays Skies of Acadia Legends. We are kicking off right where we left off. In the Ruins of Ice. Hopefully we're going to do away with it today. I don't have to deal with this crap anymore. We're going on a field trip, a field trip, etc. Treasure box down there. I'm very interested in that. That's a save point. Save point usually means there's a boss coming up. Oh, cupid. Yeah, you find that jam. I'll hold off on giving it to you for now. Well, that's a... I never found uh That. I want that. I think I get that on my way out. Completely honest. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Land first, please. Fire pursuit by enemies! Land to burst! Well, there. Is that two loopers? That's two loopers. Well, we don't really do much to them because friggin' loopers and they can't be attacked by magic or entire enemy group attacks and stuff like that. Because that'd be too easy. You die in basically one hit anyway. Oh yeah, okay. Purple magic can silence people as well. Guess I forgot about that. Silence doesn't really come into play very much. Well, just attack him. I can't hit him with magic or anything, so I may as well just start swinging, swinging hands and hope for the best. There you go. This one. Damn it, Enrique. Maybe they'll attack us, so how about a skull shield? And everyone else attack. Pirates of old, defend our cause. So now we basically all have counterattack. Just like Vice can use for himself. It was pointless, but hey, at least you got to see it. We did it! Oh, it's getting cold here in the basement. Oh my goodness. And it's like the beginning of May now. If you've been keeping track of the dates I've been dropping during this whole thing, you'll realize I've been recording this for like ever. I found a frost blade. Now surely that is a vice weapon. Could be mistaken. I am mistaken. Of course I am. I don't know what I'm talking. I don't know this game. <laughs> it's like my favorite RPG ever. I don't know shit about it. <laughs> I can't get over there. And over there didn't do anything for me. So I guess I'm going this way. And guess where my boss battle is? It's over there in that big impressive looking structure we found. Save over the Nasher port at 29 hours. I've been playing this for 30 hours now. I think my usual playtime in this game goes about 40, 42 hours. It's fairly significant, I guess. My old roommate had a theory that if you can get one hour per every dollar you've spent on a game, 
then you have not wasted your money. I think going by that, I pretty much did that with Skies of Arcadia. It only cost me like 40 bucks or so. It was used when I picked it up. So, you know, it was good. Yeah. I'm going to admit something <laughs> that I just remembered involving me buying this game for the first time. When I bought the used copy of the game, the disc was scratched. So when I tried to play it, it messed up. Now, I bought the game after having rented it once before from my local Blockbuster. Uh, and it worked when I rented it. So what I did was I rented the game that I had just bought and I, I switched the discs and then brought the game back. I am the worst kind of person. <laughs> and it was awful. Because I basically gave them back a broken copy of their game so that my copy would work. I just remembered that I did that. <laughs> oh wow. What is this thing? You look like you belong in a Pokemon game. Which I'm pretty sure I've said for a lot of enemies thus far. Maybe it uses magic. I'm going to use both Delta Shield and uh, Justice Shield just in case. So I'm not, I don't really remember what this thing does, but I, I'd like to think that if this was a, an ancient civilization full of mages, that, uh, yeah, that they'd use a lot of magic. Well, I mean, it's... I think it's good logic. Okay, it attacked. That's neat, I guess. Um... Here, let's... Stow the Delta Shield this time, because even if I do get hit by magic, it won't hurt as much as an actual special attack. So I'm going to want to be defending either way. Avalancher. Now see, that's not magic. It is a special attack. And it is a damn good thing that I guarded, because wow, that really hurt. Well, it sure is resistant to attack. That's great. Okay. Just gonna have to hurt it as much as humanly possible. Which is unfortunate, because I gotta get Enrique to use Justice Shield. Death Laser. That did more than 125 damage, thank you very much. It instantly killed him. God damn it! Thought I was basically done with the insta-kill moves. And that's not magic either, that's not like it used silver magic that I could delta shield out of. Uh-uh. It was just a special move that instantly killed. Garbage. Absolute garbage. How about a nice uh, rice, a rice limb crystal? Surely I have some. I have a box. I have a crystal. I don't appear to have rice limb crystals, so I sure hope my box doesn't break. It's gonna suck. Like this thing. Clearly magic. I do wonder if it is weak to the magic. I 
should get vice to increase everybody's that attack and defense, I think. I think he can do that. This is gonna hurt. Ouch! Man, I remember in other games where positioning kind of mattered like that, where people could, you know, do attacks in straight lines and things, where I could use a defense action to move my character around. And why I can't do that now, I have no idea. Okay, well, let's see. You know what, you keep using items. I want my... I don't think I need to actually make her defend when I'm using the defense thing. Uh, let's see what I got. Could have something neat. I don't really have anything neat. I'm gonna use an electron box on it. Just friggin' because. Just a shield. Let's try this. Heal us. Throw a box of lightning at him, I guess. Oh, look, the avalanche. Is it gonna hit Enrique and Aika? Or is it gonna hit Enrique, Aika, and Vice? Or just Enrique and Aika. That's not bad. I accept it. Let's try this. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Not bad. You're gonna keep doing that because I have no other reason to use that item. <laughs> Magic. Increments. The entire party. 16 points. It's pretty crap, but. <laughs> We'll try and get them back. The fucking not the death laser again. Ugh! Doesn't matter if I'm defending. It just does it. And there's nothing I can do. To stop it. Oh well. Just have to pick her up again. Oh, uh, not her again, because it wasn't her the first time. Get her up. Just a shield, very important because of that avalanche of bullcrap. Gonna need that. Yeah. Is this like keep us from dying a horrible death. Enrique can take it. Let's try this. Box hasn't broken yet. the heels. So maybe I can use just a sac raise crystal instead. Enrique could use some. You focus you just a shield. May righteousness be our shield. I was trying to skip that. <laughs> I didn't want to see the animation again. No, avalanche is fine. You can avalanche your heart out. I don't care about that. What I do care about <laughs> is the damn death laser. Cause that's horrible. Let's try this. If I keep saving up. I will very shortly probably have enough 
Uh, to kill his stupid ass. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Let's try this. Excuse me while I itch my ear. Or I scratch my ear. I get it's something I noticed a long time ago is when somebody means to say that they're scratching an itch, they are itching themselves. Which is incorrect. And every time I do it, I feel a little stupid. Yeah. Ah! The good music has begun. I will drop a friggin' moon on you very shortly. Just you wait. That'll probably be the end of you. Yeah, chip that damage. <laughs> Just keep nicking. Just a regular attack? How strange. We got you now. I saved up for this legit. In dire need, the power of the it's like every boss battle I ever do from now on is just going to be me dropping moons. And it, it is a problem this game suffers from, is when you get to the point where you can use prophecy it really becomes your ultimate go-to, and you fall back on it a lot. But I mean, you can't argue with the results. The results is you're getting fucked! You shit! We did it! Yeah! Hi, Magic! You learn Pyrulin! Hooray! Hey, a crystalline box! Oh, it's the end of that. Doesn't seem to be anything else along the lines of. elevators or whatever. Oh, there's a trader box over there. And one over there. There's a whole lot of nothing over there. We're gonna go over here real quick. Grab the box. Hey, I got a moon. How many of those do I even have? I have two. You can summon a storm to damage and remove any beneficial effects from all enemies. You know what? I could have used that in the last bounty battle against Vice, so I'm going to actually. Pick that up. Looney wins! There, now the only moves like anybody needs to learn anymore are the last moves they can get. I'll grind those out off camera, I swear I will. Alright, I did your boss battle and stuff. Give me my crystal. I deserve it. Friggin' foggy again. So difficult to see. Someone's there. Oh, hey, we know that guy. Hey, remember him? Oh. I don't believe it. Who's there? Drachma? Captain! <laughs> Hooray! What are you kids doing here? It really is you! I never thought I'd see you again! Yeah, well, uh... It's been a while, Captain. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd survive the attack. But, Captain, what are you doing at the bottom of Glacier? Think about it real quick. Think about what happened and try and piece it together in your head. You might figure it out. Hmm. 
Terrachnum. What? No, it's not. And now this color makes sense, doesn't it? It is! What's Rachnum doing here? Mm. Follow me. Is... is he dead? No, he's still alive. But he was badly wounded by Ramirez's ships. It is a fatal wound. Rachnum is dying. When Rachnum fled from Ramirez, I got pulled along. If I wasn't attached to him, the little Jack would have been destroyed. This is his... home. Captain, you mean to tell me that you've been alone here with Rachnum the whole time? Aye. Oh. Is that... Vice, look, that light! What? Is... is that the moon crystal? It must be, which would mean that this Ark Royal, Rachnum, is the Purple Gigas? <gasps> I can't believe that Rachnum is the Purple Gigas. The, the name of the Purple Gigas is Plurgoth. According to the legends, the citizens of the Purple Civilization implanted the Purple Crystal into a living creature. Then that means that Rachnum was once a normal Ark Whale? Yes. I think after Rachnum had been transformed into the Purple Gigas, his master perished, and he has been wandering the skies ever since. So this poor Ark Whale was also a victim of the war. But Captain, why did you stay here all this time? If the little Jack is here with you, why didn't you leave? I've spent my life searching for Rachnum to avenge my crew and my son. I wasted all those years. Rachnum saved me from Ramirez. I just... I just thought that I could watch over him in his last moments. It's the least I could do. Why is he making that noise? I... I'm not sure. What's wrong? I'm here for you. This isn't good. Look, and his eye. Rachnum. I see. It's time for you to go. Time for you to join your friends. Goodbye. Ah, oh, he's crying. Oh, no. Look, the crystal. Well, Enrique's still on point. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. I received the Purple Moon Crystal. That was the saddest Gigas death. <laughs> and it just keeps getting better. Oh, no. Bye-bye, Feathers. Captain, are you really going to leave us? Chasing mm. Rachnum was my reason for living. Now I've got to start over. When you're as old as me, 
It's not easy to change your ways. I, I'm sorry, but I cannot go with you. Vice, are you sure we should let him go? Yeah, we should just let him go. Yeah, uh -huh. we should just let him go. Can't imagine what he's gone through right now. Captain, we finally meet up again, but I guess this is goodbye. Oh. Boy, <laughs> you've become quite the sailor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's a little strange to hear compliments coming from you. Captain, before you go, there's something I wanted to tell you. You said that you and Rackham were both alone. But you're not alone, Captain. We've been with you the whole time. No matter how far apart we become, we'll still be sailing in the same sky. The same sky, the same clouds, the same wind. We'll always be together in one way or another. We'll never forget you. Captain, take care of yourself. I wish you all the luck in the world. Captain, you better visit us on Crescent Isle. Goodbye. Maybe I will. Someday. Farewell. And away he goes. And that's it. That's the end of the Land of Ice. I think we have to head back to Crescent Isle, basically. Uh, just uh, southeast. I'm going southwest, so I'm going the wrong way. It looks like Darkrift territory, though. I don't know if I can go through that. Sure don't look like it. Alright, well I guess I gotta find a way out of here somewhere else. So let's see, what does that mean we have left? We've got the green crystal, the red crystal, the blue crystal and the purple crystal. I know we gotta get the yellow crystal. And that was in value or under that big, huge metal plate that they used to bury it. Uh, I'm sure that's about it. <laughs> I mean, in obvious conclusion, because of all the uh, different magic abilities, that means. We need to get that one, and that one, because if there's a silver moon, there's a silver moon crystal. And in fact, all of these icons are the shapes of said crystals, so there is like a silver moon sphere somewhere. But I don't know where, we haven't actually heard anything about that, so... We wait. Wait and see. I know there's, like, discoveries to be found in this continent. I might ding through a couple of them real fast in uh, the beginning of the next episode. And, in fact, very shortly, I will probably rocket through quite a few of them uh, when we get the ability to go above the clouds and below the clouds at the bottom. Where there's no random encounters, but there is things to find down there, so I'll probably at the beginning of one of the episodes just kind of go through them one by one. I won't make you guys sit through watching me find them. I'll just find them for you. Read off their descriptions. It'll be nice. But I'll, I'll fast track that as much as humanly possible. But this episode is almost over. Thank you guys for coming along and watching me. I hope you're enjoying yourself. And I will see you guys next time when we, uh, I guess probably go head towards getting the yellow moon crystal. Assuming I'm not doing a bunch of side quest stuff, which I probably will be. So, see you then. Bye-bye for now.